Today is Wednesday, March, um, what is it? I believe it's the 23rd. And we're at this beautiful cabin in Lake Arrowhead, California. And I'm going to show you the progress we've been making. Jacking, leveling, and repairing the foundation on this building. Did you ever see the Wizard of Oz? And the Wicked Witch, her sister, the house lands on her. And her feet are sticking out from underneath it. That's what you look like right now. <laughs> this is all material that has come out from underneath your house. Uh, most of it was rotten, and we'll be replacing that with new material, which is staged right here. We've got 2x6, 2x4, 4x6. Um, we've probably used that much already. This is a replenished pile as of this morning. So when we come in the back, this was all filled in at one point. We've had to dig it out so that we can build walls around the perimeter of the house. And these are actually forms that we're going to pour concrete into. And you can see we've dug new footings all the way around the perimeter of the house, or I don't know if you can see it, but and uh, the forms go up with the slope of the hill. And we'll be filling those all with concrete, and that's what the new ha the the house is going to be attached to when we're done. We also ultimately use these concrete walls to level off of. So this one here. It's actually holding back some dirt. It makes a nice area, almost a room, in here. There's where the build-up door is. And Keston here is building this form. You can see and the footings down in here, there's steel. This is just first piece of steel. There's several vertical pieces of steel that will go in and more horizontal as well. Look off in the distance over here. This is formed up too and braced. It's braced for when we fill it with concrete it doesn't cave in. Now this wall right here that we're building is directly under the wall between the kitchen and the living room. There's a lot of load there because the weight from the loft up above is building up on it and you can see up in here we've doubled up and put a beam in to carry that load and then once we have a nice solid concrete wall down below here we'll be able to put a jack here lift it up and straighten that section of the house up we can't do it right now because this dirt is incredibly loose and so we need to get a big concrete footing in all around here to carry the load when we jack it because right now when we try to jack it we just push the jack into the earth and that's not uncommon you can see we've got a lot of dirt mounded up underneath here that's dirt that we've removed when we actually pour the concrete we will pull that jack that dirt towards me and uh, backfill these walls that we're making so that this will all be nice and smooth and clean underneath here um, you can also see temporary shoring that we've done to keep the house in place while the footings get installed. So let's look at the front of the house here. It's this beautiful garden that you have. Don't worry, we'll clean it all up when we're done. But we've removed a lot of dirt. Um, what's happened here in the front of the house is dirt has been washing down this hill for the last, what, you know, 100 plus years. And it's just been going under the house and filling in under the house. And that's what caused all the rot that I showed you. So we've dug that out. And we couldn't get it from the inside very well. This trench you see will have a drainage pipe to catch any water and take it around that corner. And it'll also be have a concrete wall that will block 
dirt and animals from coming through and carry some of the load of the house. You can look down here and see the old stone foundation. The foundation only existed on the sides of the house, not the front or the back. And it's it's earned its money, you know, it's keep. It's 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 definitely worn out, but we'll replace it this we will fill fill this trench up that we're looking with concrete, steel, and rebar. And we have it all the way across the front of the house. And this front of the house, we had to pull this out because there's rotten lumber all along here. And that's because this dirt up in front was so high and pushed up against everything. But we're able to save the faux stone and we'll be able to save the fireplace and stonework there. But we are gonna cut a hole in front of this window, in front of this window in the house in order to get in and get the last little bits of dirt out of there so that the house is lifted up off the ground. And again, that's completely under the house. So we will actually put a concrete in there with steel rebar and straps to height, tie the house together. You can see we go around the corner and that's as far as we can get on the outside without doing tremendous damage to stuff. And so we're doing the rest of the work from the inside and, uh, but the good news is we're going to have all of these rod issues done and you're going to end up with a nice and level floor. That's the air compressor running in the background. What you're looking at here is the steel that goes in the footings inside of the concrete. Those are 20 foot lengths. There's quite a bit of it. Um, it basically acts like a band around a barrel in terms of what it's doing it keeps the concrete from coming apart or moving it'll be in tension and it won't allow the concrete to separate so this is gonna this work we're doing will outlift all of us in terms of not moving around by far. I want to show you now in your laundry we're going to do that in a second pour we don't want to undermine the house too much <laughs> it gotta work every house has to sit on something and so what I do is a second pour after this first pour in here is complete, which is the majority of the work. We'll come back and do this laundry, which is really an addition on the house as best we can tell. And we'll lower the floor a little bit when we do that. We'll pour a concrete floor in there, nice pier so it's nice and clean and tight and not dirty. It will be just like a room, an honest to God laundry room when we're done. I'm gonna walk inside and show you just how we go about leveling. So right here, this is a laser and you can see it projects that green law line Ugh, I can speak English it speak, projects this green line back here it also makes a perpendicular one for plum and we walk around we put a measuring tape from the horizontal line down to the floor and that number needs to match everywhere in the building and the green line is lost in the the sunlight over there but that's all right we just close the curtains and we can see it just fine and so we just push the building up to that line so that it matches everywhere. And I think we're going to be able to get most of it out. We've actually improved it quite a bit at this point, but we're at the point to where we need that concrete under there so that we can finish it off and get it actually locked in place. Um, right now, when we put jacks under it, they just get shoved into the dirt at some point. So that's kind of hard. So that's... That's how that's done. It's just a little laser. It's, it spins around, projects a line. Also, I have big, you know, 10 foot levels, and uh, they help. They're, they're, uh, I, what do you call it? I'm, I'm double checking myself with the level and the laser. But the big thing about the level is that there's bumps in the floor like this. I can find them because there'll be a gap between the level on the ends, and that helps me find the bumps and flatten those out.